hello guys today i came up with a very exciting tutorial today i'll show you how you can create this type of horizontal scroll website with elementor and pure css we don't need any javascript or any other code just pure css and elementor so this tutorial will be a little bit longer and it will be a little bit advanced tutorial so prepare for it so let's get started so let's insert a template i will use a template obviously you will use your website design so in my case i am putting a template in here so let's insert perfect so this is our website first of all we need to set the height of our each section to fit to screen so that each of this content fits exactly in the middle so far let's change it to fit to screen okay for this fit to screen to screen to screen okay so everything is now fit to screen that's perfect so let me change the background color of each so that we can make out the difference gray okay perfect so then we'll give a class name a common class name for each of this section it's not necessary but it will be easier so let's call it section maybe you can name it whatever you want section perfect let's save it okay this is how it looks as you can see each of this section has height of fit to screen great so to make this scroll horizontally we need two wrapper around each of this can content but if we inspect our website as you can see elementor already has two wrapper one is elementor inner and another is elementor section wrap so these two wrapper wraps every content of our website so we need to target this elementor inner and elementor section wrap so let's just copy this elementor inner good so for this elementor inner first thing we need to specify the width and height for the elementor inner the width will be 100 bh or that means the elementor inner width will be equals to the vertical height of our viewport height great so the height will be 100 bw the height will be 100 vertical width or viewport width great so then we need to hide the x-axis scroll so we need to set overflow x hidden and for the y axis the overflow will be scroll great what we need to do we need to rotate this to 90 degree or minus 90 degree okay so that each of this content this bottom content goes on the right hand side not the bottom Okay, so let's add this CSS transform properties and it will be rotated minus 90 degree perfect so I'll provide the code in the description so don't worry you can just copy paste and then we need to add translate and we will translate it to X axis and it will be minus 100 bh so we'll translate it with 100 bh negative 100 bh and then we need to set this to top and left transform on is in to top left so transform top left transform our engine top left and lastly we need to set the position to absolute
perfect let's save this and check what happens as you can see you, all of the contents are now squeezed on the left hand panel so we need to fix that so for this for this elementor section wrap or the inner wrap sorry on the second wrapper div the elementor section wrap we need to target this and add some css to fix that issue so for this section wrap we also need to transform so in this case we need to rotate it with positive 90 degree and we need to translate y instead of x to 100 vh so the ch only change is transform instead of negative 90 degree it will be positive 90 degree and the translate will be x axis not the y axis okay great and we need to make it display flex and flex direction to row so display flex and flex direction row so let's save it and see what happens so as you can see it doesn't fix anything but all of our content is now squeezed even more so how we can fix that fix that we need to specify the width of our elementor section wrap so the width so this part is a little bit tricky so what will be the width of our inner div or the elementor section wrap so if we inspect our website we have one two three four five six section okay so the, in that case our width will be 600 v w okay so if you have five section it will be 500 v w if you have four section it will be 400 v w so let's set this so now we need to target our section wrap section class we have added previously so the section for this section we need to add the width there will be 100 vw so viewport width and the height will be 100 vh so the section for our section class this class we provided for all of our section the width will be 100 vw and height will be 100 vh let's save this okay my mistakes i just the translate spelling of this translate was incorrect so let's fix this and let's update and let's refresh so now as you can see our website is scrolling to the vertical but we have another problem on the top you can see the scroll bar is visible and taking up all of our content space so we need to hide this scroll bar to hide this scroll bar we have to use prefix for different type of browser for the firefox and internet explorer you can add a scroll bar dash width to none and ms overflow dash style none this too will work in firefox and internet explorer but for the chrome we need to add the webkit clone clone webkit dash scroll bar and display will be none so clone clone dash webkit dash scroll bar display equal to none so let's update so as you can see our scroll bar is now hidden and if you scroll your mouse the content is going from left to right so as you can see in this section the background image is not showing this is because we need to change this background adjustment to default or scroll now if we refresh as you can see everything is working perfectly so this is how we can easily create horizontal scroll effect with elementor and css